Good morning, welcome to a morning review on uh, Tuesday the 24th of March. Okay, looking at the euro dollar first, and let's see, yesterday we had a, a reasonable up day. Uh, really, really good moves uh, yesterday. Uh, since then we've seen a bit of a retrace again. At the moment it's sort of very much uh, bull flag type territory where you're pulling back a little bit like so. Um, it could be modest traders. Uh, Caution, caution. Um, uh, may, well, conservative. That's the word I was looking for. Conservative traders may wait for the sort of a break of these these highs here to be looking for the long side. Uh, the uh, alternative is is to see if we we come back uh, to these prior highs here and uh, maybe look for opportunities at that point for the long side. It uh, it does look reasonably good from this time frame when we come to the smaller time frames. We have to say we just need to come back a little bit, maybe as far as the the uh, bright yesterday's uh, I say yesterday's uh, Friday's highs, Friday stroke Sunday's highs. If it comes back to that sort of level, that said, it has been tested around there once before, so it may be a little weaker. But at least uh, if it comes back and uh, down to the daily pivot, that one point oh. 894 um, it, it may give a buying opportunity as I say more conservative approach is to wait for the break of the highs there on the if you pop a trend line across there you just wait for the break of that and ensure everything's aligned momentum and go with so a bit like yesterday we eventually uh, broke through and then pulled back a little bit but then went and uh, it was off to the races so really good day uh, looking then at the pound dollar and well yesterday was a bit of a damp squid after all that movement I mean it started off looking it was recovering well uh, in the in the in the earlier part of the morning and then it just it's just pulled back and dipped over it's um, uh, well possibly still working off that sort of flaggy pattern from yesterday but it does need to uh, break the highs here I'm just looking for it to break these uh, highs really to uh, prefer them to break I uh, prefer to break these levels uh, to be bullish on the pound it's uh, it's it really is struggling at this point uh, looking from an hourly point of view same sort of scenario here it just never got back be up to even test uh, Friday's stroke Sunday's highs there so it failed on the way up there um, it's if you even get any traction at the moment as I say the easiest thing really is to be just looking at a simple trend line there wait if it can get beyond that sort of level uh, I'll be looking for the long side as I say we need to have the momentum with us no reason not to be long on that at the moment but uh, certainly got the possibility okay um, dollar yen uh, dollar yen could be yet coming down for its monthly pivot It'd be good just a nice stat out of the way um, it is mixed between two different f factors here because it's got the weekly pivot above the monthly pivot below uh, but just got to see how it, it, it trades out if the other markets are running down certainly it could continue down to that sort of uh, 119 sort of uh, area or just below into the monthly pivot so there is the possibility there looking from a shorter time frame though um, yep it's done its daily pivot so it is looking like it's on the way to the races one thing I'd be really wary of um, and watch out for is a break of the highs here it does start rallying um, well then it could push up to that weekly pivot there and it's possibly um, any, any as I say any decent rally could easily run back towards those sort of levels whoops didn't really want to press that button but there we go um, and finally the Aussie dollar Aussie dollar is pushed another good day yesterday broke through the daily 50s it's come back towards testing that now uh, it's still not tested well, it was tested the 8 yesterday in the end uh, but uh, certainly looks again like it could just have a, 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 a little bit more of a push and again it's the same old thing really for me here in terms of waiting being patient wait for the break here to confirm this move alternatively it starts breaking below the lows here um, and see uh, other the other currencies are rolling over at the same time maybe looking for shorts a little bit more um, 
Uh, we've got, got a reasonable chance of coming back down and testing that 50 MA, maybe just below that. So um, some options there. Okay, uh, not much else here. Let's just look, check the news. The news today, we've got to the uh, French uh, flash manufacturing figures coming out at 8 o'clock, then at 8.30. There's German flash uh, manufacturing and services figures coming out. These have not given massive moves of late, but uh, can always give us a bit of a, a bit of a push at times. Sometimes they're like 10 pippers. Other times they may be 20 pip moves, but the overall expectance, the theory, would give me probably a maximum of around about 20 pips. Uh, 9.30 we've got the UK uh, inflation figure, this is expected to drop yet again but it, people will be starting to be looking at the core figures and seeing what's actually happening there uh, to see if it, we really are continuing to see inflation fall. Uh, if that does happen then the, in, the pound could fall as well with that. And then uh, later we've got the uh, US uh, inflation figure at 12.30. Now there are people and there are Fed, Fed voters that are suggesting they don't need to see the inflation figure at 2% uh, to start increasing interest rates. They, uh, there is quite a concern of the bubble, uh, asset bubble etc. But they've created it, <laughs> it's their making. Um, I'm not too sure whether it will help to uh, yeah, increase interest rates right now with their situation when everything else and they've got an overvalued currency anyway. Um, low inflation rate here could see um, the dollar weaken a little bit here and the other markets rally so something to watch out for. So they're the key numbers today to be watching out for. Have a great one. Bye for now.